Hello, my name's Cindy Davies and I'm the author of this novel, The Afghan Wife. It's set in Afghanistan and Iran in 1979. I'd like to thank the Harry Hartog Bookshop where I'm sitting um, for the opportunity to introduce this novel to you today. The bookshop is in the Westfield Warringah Mall shopping centre in Sydney, Australia. I'd also like to thank the uh, Sydney Mechanics School of Arts and the Tom Keneally Centre as well as their library which was first established in 1833 for the opportunity to make this video. Right, so The Afghan Wife is a, a novel set in both Afghanistan and Iran and it concerns Zara. She's the Afghan wife of the title and together with her small family, her husband, her anarchist cousin and her young son, they escaped from Afghanistan ahead of the Soviet invasion in 1979. However, when they reach Tehran, the capital of Iran, they find that they are, have come from one tinderbox situation to another. The Shah of Iran has been deposed and he's in exile and Iran has been taken over by the Ayatollah Khomeini and it's become an Islamic Republic, which it still is today. Further complications arise when Zara meets the former love of her life, Karim. And against this volatile background of the American hostage crisis, Zara finds that she has to make a choice between her love and her family loyalty. Now, you might wonder why I'm here in Australia, but I'm writing about Iran. Well, I'd like to say that I lived for men and worked for many years in um, the Middle East and uh, while I was there I, I met many people and I absorbed the cultures of the Middle East. I was a writer and I was a tour guide but my main job here in Australia was a teacher of English as a second language and when I first started teaching in 1980 most of my students came from Iran and from Afghanistan and their stories Many of their stories are embedded in this novel. A lot of the things that happened to Zara happened to my students. I did a great deal of research, of course, reading about the history of Iran and Afghanistan. And a couple of years ago, I visited Iran. I walked along the streets of northern Tehran and I took photographs of the houses similar to the houses that um, Zara lived in. I shopped in the bazaars and I visited many mosques. I also went to other cities like Shiraz, um, Yads and beautiful Esfahan. The Iranian people were welcoming and friendly and wanted to practice their English, of course. Now, if you're um, a writer, you know that the writing pro process can be very tedious. It consists of a great deal of rewriting and editing. And I would say to any emerging writers, believe in your manuscript, don't give up. Whatever you do, you send the manuscript out and it's returned. So send it out again, have a look at it, revise it, send it out again. My own reading consists of, um, I read widely actually, because I need to get a feeling for how other writers write dialogue, how they structure their novels. And um, a very favourite novel of mine is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Perfect structure, excellent novel, and it keeps you, it's a page turner, it keeps you reading right to the end of the novel. For more information about me and about The Afghan Wife, please visit my website, which is cindydavies.com.au. And up there, I've got plenty of photographs of Iran, which I took while I was visiting. I'd like to once again thank this superb bookshop, the Harry Hartock Bookshop at Warringah Mall Shopping Centre and the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts, the Tom Keneally Centre, as well as for making this video, as well as thanking my publisher, Odyssey Books in Australia. And thank you to my readers and good luck to all emerging writers. It is possible and it will happen. Thank you very much.